This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy lyre de Hamil. May the animal Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just... it's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <gasps> you tone deaf bard! Hey, don't go! At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? You should have held your tongue. So, this is a gnosis. Huh? Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste. When the beholder has no taste. <laughs> Benty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Alright, exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. 
That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. The Fadui were the ones who attacked you? That's too much. Master Jean has already returned to the Knight's headquarters. She said that she will look for evidence. But she also said that if the Fatui didn't leave any traces, the Knights might find it difficult to lodge a complaint against them.